stand there and he put up his fist and he stood there in the mirror and Rocky was right there coaching him through all of that, telling him who he was and why he was doing it. Yeah. Sometimes you just got to get in the Come mirror. On. Sometimes yeah. you just got to yeah. tell yourself who you are yeah. and who you are not. You got to remove all of the lies, remove all of the toxins. You got to flush out everything that he poured down in your drain. You got to start yeah. emptying it out. You got to unload that concrete yeah. that he put into you. Yeah. Come on, don't just sit here and look at me. Listen to what I am saying. Because I gave you my testimony. You see, I'm standing here today. I'll open up my mouth and I cannot be defeated. I cannot be defeated. I will not be defeated. God will never waste his pain. He know what you went through. He will use that pain for his glory. For his glory. So today, we're going to turn your past into a purpose. We're going to turn that mess into a message. We're going to turn that test into a testimony. Come on. Come on. We're going to turn your struggles into strength. Come on. We're going to turn that worry into worship. We're going to turn anything that's deficient into abundance. Come on. Somebody speak clarity into your future. That's what we have not been doing. We have not been thinking about our future because we've been trapped and we've been stuck back there. But I'm here to tell you today that you are fitted for your destiny. You are fitted for your purpose. You are fitted for your calling. Get into the position of eruption. Everything that was on the inside of you, down in your belly, everything that you was holding, everything that you couldn't let out, today you need to let it be erupt. You need to let it turn out of you. You need to let it come out of you. All the lies, everything, all the deceits, all the deceptions. Bring it up out of you today. Let it erupt. Because if you don't speak about it, if you don't talk about it, if you don't cry about it, it's going to stay inside of you. And you'll never be able to move forward. And next time when you get hit again, you want to sit there and take it again. Because you let somebody tell you how to treat you. You tell them how to treat you. Amen. Amen. You're no longer dead. You are alive. You are forced to be reckoned with. Fear cannot hold you. Death cannot hold you. Today, ladies, you are a volcano. You want to erupt. You want to explode. You want to do something different. And what I love about pain, because that is my ministry, that's when I am at my best when I'm in pain. Because God is so close to me in my pain. For things that I thought I could not do, I am doing because yeah. God has given me the power to do it. Yeah. No man, no woman has no say so over me. I'm going to thrive anyway. That's right. Anyway. Come on. Anyway. 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 That's right. So you are the voice. Mm -hmm. And you tell that abuser, mm -hmm. I am. I am. I am beautiful. That's right. Yes. I am intelligent. Yes. I am worthy. Yes. I am educated. Yes. I am enough. Yes. I am in control. Yes. I am fearfully and wonderfully yes. made. Yes. I serve a God who is living there. Yes. There's no limits on me. Come on. There's no boundaries on me.
same gift, you have the same way, you're just going to use it differently. So guess what? Set your mind free. Know your worth. Know your worth. Don't let nobody tell you who you are and who you're going to be and who you're not going to be. Thank you all so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. 